Hey guys, and welcome back to Paints Plays Paper Mario in the last part. We took some. I can't talk. Took care of some extra stuff, like uh, the anti guy, and we did a couple other things as well, which I can't quite remember. But, anyways, so. Now that that's all done, I'm thinking our next destination should be the sewers, because. As uh, Merlin said in the last part, uh, the way to Shiver City is through the sewers, and. I actually haven't explored the entirety of the sewers. Uh, like, there's a lot that I've, like, missed and, you know, passed up and all that. So, that, and now we have you know, pretty much everything that we need. We can go any anywhere in the sewers. So, let's uh, explore the sewers in this episode. And then uh, we got a snowman's all here. We got a full thing. Uh, let's see, what should I drop? I'll drop the stinky herb. Because uh, I'm not gonna. I was thinking about keeping it for something, but I decided I don't think I will, just because I won't need it, and you know, I can, I'll live without it. But anyway, so, in this room, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there's a couple of Goombas and they'll attack you. Be careful. I think. Yeah, so, oh yeah, here we go. Now that we're in here, we can upgrade another party member! Who would like to upgrade level? I'm, I'm thinking that we should upgrade Lackluster, because you know, he's our latest party member, he's not fully upgraded yet, and when well, he's fully upgraded, he's quite good. And uh, we'll need him for some stuff in the near future, so having him upgraded now will be will be quite useful, to say the least. So, yeah. Anyways, now that we're done with that, uh, let's see, where should we head next? There's a lot of, like I said, there's a lot of the sewers that we haven't fully explored yet. And I don't want to miss out on anything. Oh, what's this? This is a Power Smash Badge! Hammer's like, using lots of attack power. I guess it's like, I think that's like the lower version of the Mega Smash Badge. So basically it's just like, a slightly weaker version of the ultra-powerful hammer move that we actually never used. So the Mega Smash does that and the Power Smash... Okay, so yeah. The, that one takes 6 FP, that one takes 2. So, yeah. It's a bit weaker, but, eh. If you only need that much extra power, then go for it. I see, okay. I think I see how this works. I think I see how this works, okay. Let's see if I can do this. Come on. Yes, it did it, okay. Alright, so now we're in here. I don't think I've actually ever been in this area before. Yeah. I'm trying to avoid those paragoombas. Alright, uh. Let's go get, get a uh, star piece. Nothing really exciting happening in this episode right now. Uh, oh. Fart. Come on. There we go. Alright, but I'm, uh. Yeah, there's actually quite a few things that we can find in this area that are really, really cool, especially one thing that, well, I mean, it's a story-based thing, but it's definitely really awesome, and we'll be getting it in just a few moments here. So we got that star piece, which is pretty cool. Oh, oh crap. No, I don't want to fight you. Or land on you, that'd be bad. Um, uh, let me get out Spike, because two reasons. One, <coughs> I think riding on him is faster than walking or even spin dashing. Plus, uh, you know, we haven't shown off his new ability yet that we just got, which is. It's a. Actually, can you remember what the ability is? Now that I think about it. Let's go down here. So, I believe. You need to go down this way. Get on sushi. I already fought the electro blooper here, so we don't need to worry about fighting him again, thankfully. And if you remember before. There was this little spike area, but we couldn't get across it because, you know, we just couldn't. But with Lackluster, we can hover right across it. Now we have that. Let's go in. Come on. There we go. We're in the new area of the sewers. Now. Whoa. Oh, wax. Well, that was lucky. I just jumped randomly and hit it. Oh! If only I could stop. Of course, I get a stopwatch which stops time a parasecond before I get hit. Uh, I don't need it. 
Yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, the, I think this is... No, no, we already fought these in uh, flower fields. These are the spinies. Let's go and shut off uh, Spike's new ability, Hurricane. The works blows the enemies away from battle. So it's... It works... Uh, uh, well, well, I'm trying to think what... Because I believe we have an ability like that before. Don't show it off, come on. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, effective one, but not the other. So I use our hammer and finish him off. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so where we need to go next? Yeah, I remember now, okay. It's- I've actually not really explored much of the sewers during many of my playthroughs, like, I don't know the entire layout of it. And I've played through this game a lot. Okay, you know what, I'm just gonna kill all you guys. Actually, I'm not even getting- I'm not even getting much out of you. So fighting you guys is completely pointless. So I'm just gonna run away. No, I don't wanna fight- Dang it! Jeez. Like, you play so well that you can't get past them. I don't want to fight you. Jeez. Anyways, before I was rudely interrupted again, a little coin there, and... Break the lockout. Whoa, the screen glitched for a second. I don't know if you guys saw that, but it was really weird. Oh, huh, that's weird. We can't get up to those, um... Ah, dang it. Freaking... Koopas. You know what? I'm gonna freaking kill you guys, because you're just <laughs> being intensely annoying right now. I'm just trying to freaking play the game, and you're attacking me for no reason. I wish, like, at a certain point, enemies wouldn't attack you, because, like, once you get to a certain point, they can't hurt you anymore. I mean, I mean, they, you can't get experience from them anymore. So I kind of wish, like, that they would just not bother you once they get to that point. Actually, they're still giving me experience, so... Eh. I guess it... I guess it works. Still, so... But yeah, so I wish, like, enemies that are so lower level than you can not even give you experience would not even bother you because reasons, but huh. Oh, it's a treasure chest. Let's see what's in here. It is... The Ultra Boot! The attack power of Mario's jump increases! On top of that, you can now press use the tornado jump by pressing A again while in the air. So, if you remember, we had the ground pounder uh, earlier when we got back way back in Boo's mansion. We now finally got another upgrade to our boots. The tornado jump. It's twice as powerful, and you can hit higher blocks. And so, there were a few, I believe, a few blocks that we could not reach because, you know, of the tornado jump. But we didn't have the tornado jump. Now we have it. We can reach these with ease. That was not intended to be rhymed. You know what's going to... Ah, missed it. I was hoping to, like, do the opening tornado jump, but I'm, uh... Let's start off with a regular jump on the Stark Koopa here. See, it, it has a base 4 damage, so that's Sean telling right there. And then, you know, we can double jump it, so if an enemy doesn't have any defense, that's 8 base damage right there. But yeah, it's just, it's really powerful, and I love it. Let's, uh, do a spiny surge. And we're back, so now that we, uh, care of those guys, go and get the rest of these blocks here. Oh, come on. I believe there's a actually a hidden block in here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there is, right here. And it is a... One of the best... One of the best items in the game. It's a life shroom. So, if you ever play the Zelda game, it works very... Like, just like a, um... Fairy in the Bottle. Oh, no, I don't want that. It works exactly like a Fairy in the Bottle. Once your health drops to zero... It will restore your life, and for everyone you have, it will continuously do it. So if, if you're, like, in a really, really tough boss battle, which we will be getting into a couple of those, like, two or three of those in the future, we'll definitely need them. Come on, I don't want to fight you. Come on. Ugh. I freaking hate these things. They're so annoying. Ah, come on! You know, I'll fight, the, I'll fight this guy off screen, because I just want to get him out. Actually, you know what? I'll just start storm him. These are getting really in my last nerve. <laughs> Plus, you know, having the extra experience doesn't hurt at all. 
Yeah, we took care of those guys. Where we need to go next is to... Where, where was it again? I can't remember all of a sudden now. I believe... Yeah, I think we go to the right of here. Yeah, that's right. I remember now. We need to go to the right of here. Hopefully I'm not wrong here. I'm not making a fool of myself. Yes, I made it past both of them. Let me get this little item block here, and let's say shooting star. Ooh. I should really sell some of my items. Dang. Okay, I'll get rid of the super soda. Wish I could have a... That's one of my few complaints about this game, is the items uh, storage in this game is just not really good. Now, there's a bunch of hidden blocks here, and I know where they all are, because I'm... I totally didn't like a, a play, play through of the game prior to this. No, I'm kidding, I didn't. But I think if we go down this block here... There is... If I'm not mistaken, a few... Actually, I can't remember. Do we hide? Okay, now that's not it, obviously. I know there's a secret in here. Wait, of course, what? Well, probably build fun of what? No. Odd. You know, I'll, f I'll find it later, because I'm going to be doing extra stuff in this game for sure, don't worry. It's not going to end once I finish the game. Like, I'll do, like, post-game stuff as well, so... Yeah, I'll definitely cover that as well. I said as well, like, five times there, but anyways, go and hop... Dang it, no, I don't want to fall. I want to get across so I can get to my destination. Yes, there we go. Going to go through this blue door here. And then let's hop down this pipe. And oh, suddenly it's freezing in here. Let's go and go to the left. And there's that ultra block over here. And really, I can only think of one more party member to upgrade, worth upgrading, is Cooper. Like Gumbario and uh, Paracarry are. Uh, su like, Gumbario's super and ultra abilities are not that great. Like, to be perfectly honest, Gumbario is. Once we get Cooper, his usefulness was at an end. Or should I take that back until we get Bo, uh, Bo? Was it Bo? No, until, uh, until we got Paracarry, you know, oops, I mean to go back down the pipe. Uh, Gumbario was just, you know, once we got Paracarry, it was useless, because we didn't have any jumping party members till Paracarry. But once we got him, it was just over. But anyways, Chapter 7! A Star of Spirits on Ice! So this is the beginning of Chapter 7, when now we... Made it to uh, Starborn Valley, and we're gonna get to Shiver City now. But first, I'm gonna go on in this part here because I want to take care of all this, and we're reaching the time and here. So, in the next part, we will explore Shiver City and go through Starborn Valley to see if we can find the Star Spirit and find out what exactly is going on in this area. So, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. <laughs>